Next question. I am not a fan of protein smoothies and that is one of the nutrition habits. So it's one of two. Uh, if you're not a fan of protein smoothies, I understand. Uh, sometimes protein smoothies are really convenient and sometimes the sacrifice you make with them being convenient is that they don't really fill you up, right? You might be hungry like an hour and a half later because anything that's liquid is gonna digest quicker. So I totally understand that, which is why I'm offering the um, salad option as well. Now, if you had one salad a day for 60 days, that's not a huge commitment, right? That's, that's you just getting protein and veggies every single day and you know just committing to healthier eating. I recommend to a lot of my clients to try to get one salad a day or one salad you know, a few times a week because it's really convenient, it's really healthy, um, and it doesn't take a lot of work. You might have to prep some protein or maybe buy some protein to throw in your salad, but nine times out of 10, a salad is gonna be a great way to get more veggies, get more protein, and it's also, you know, again, easy to, to take with you, easy to prepare. I mean, there's, it, has, it checks off all the boxes of benefits. Um, so you don't have to do the smoothie, you can do the salad. Um, and again, you gotta remember these habits are not something you have to do the rest of your life. Like this is a jump start into becoming more healthy because when you start feeling better and you start noticing that your workout activity is improving your health and you start sleeping better and you start feeling better overall, you're going to want to pursue more of that, right? Or, or you're sort of creatures of habit when it comes to, if something feels good, we wanna do more of it, right? It's the reason why uh, we like watching our favorite TV show, or it's the reason why we like eating sugar or chocolate, right? It makes us feel good, even if it might be temporary. Um, you know, it's the same reason why when you emotionally eat, you don't reach for broccoli. I mean, who would wanna eat that when you're sad, right? When you're sad, you want chocolate, you want sweets, you want something that tastes good that makes you feel good. Well, it works the same way with, with proper nutrition. When you start balancing out healthier eating, you start feeling better, and as a result, you wanna, you see that positive feedback loop. So, really good question, and um, you know, the nutrition habit isn't too restrictive. In fact, it's the least restrictive out of any nutrition uh, challenge or fitness challenge I've ever seen. Most of these nutrition challenges or, or fitness challenges want you to like completely change everything about your diet and follow like the latest and greatest keto you know thing, whatever. I mean, yeah, you know how I feel about keto. I'm not gonna bother my energy with that.